Once upon a time, a small kid named Jack lived in a city with his parents. He was following a boring routine. He would go to school every day, do his homework and watch TV. His parents were very busy, as they work from day to night. He mostly spends his days alone in his home. He doesn't have many friends to talk to. Jack loved to meet his grandfather and enjoy natural scenes during his summer vacations. He was eagerly waiting for his summer vacation so that he could visit his grandfather. When the day arrived, Jack packed his bag. He had a plan to visit this forest this time. Soon, he arrived at the bus station that took him outside the city. He arrived at his grandfather's at noon. Sun was already setting down. The orange tinge of the setting sun in the clouds with cool wind was very welcoming to Jack and he liked it a lot. He felt alive after a long time. Fresh air, chirping birds returning to their homes, rustling trees, and the sight of his grandfather was very refreshing. He ate dinner with his grandfather and after dinner, he asked his grandfather about visiting the forest. He asked his grandfather to visit the forest tomorrow. His grandfather told him not to go there and told him the strange tale about the forest. It was about the time when I was of your age, there lived an old woman who was very kind and brave. She used to look after the forest animals and birds. She had a strange bird which was very bright and colorful. It was a source of attraction for the villagers and a group of naughty kids. They liked to throw stones at the bird and tease it. One day they went too far and they set a trap for the bird and caught it. The old woman was very upset and she looked for her bird everywhere but was unable to find it. The naughty group denied completely that they ever saw the colorful bird. The poor old woman was very heartbroken and fall ill. And one day she suddenly disappeared from her house. The villagers looked for her but everyone was unable to find her. Then, Grandpa asked Jack to promise him that he will never go to forest. But the excitement of Jack was running wild. Maybe it was his good luck or his worst luck he got a chance the next day. Grandpa's friend had fallen sick and he was going to visit his friend, which resulted in several hours of seclusion. Jack was careful in his preparations for his trip to the forest. As soon as his grandpa left to meet his friend, Jack set out to the forest. The wind was light and clouds were swimming in the sky. Soon, Jack was in the forest, but the trees were shallow and light was passing through the tree branches to the ground. A strange feeling was running down his spine. It has nothing to do with dense trees and little light, but he has the feeling of being seen. Who's there? Jack called and his voice reverberated in the forest. He had not taken a few steps when he had a push from behind and he fell face forward to the ground. He heard a mirthless laugh and a shiver giving voice. Neither you nor your grandfather could ever face us. You are not ready boy, give up. You were fool to come here and now you will never go back. He was running and suddenly he slipped down a slope which miraculously ended up in some field. His head was swimming and he was out of breath. When Jack next gained consciousness, his grandpa was sitting next to him and he was very worried about Jack. Thank God you are alive. Grandpa heaved a sigh and breath in relief. I am sorry, Grandpa. I should have heard you. I will never go there again, Jack spoke slowly. It's okay, son. Now rest and get better soon. Jack was worried about this adventure and the strange worry of his grandpa. When Jack was leaving for his home, he took a long look at the forest and promised him that he will return one day to unravel all the mysteries of this place and he will make himself ready for the day. Thanks for listening to my story.